Hey, Saggies. Happy birthday. I hope you guys had a really great birthday season. Welcome to the bonus reading, a uh, bonus birthday reading for Sagittarius. Uh, I do this for every sign, every seat, every sign season. And I usually do a couple spreads. We'll see if we have time for three, but we'll at least do two. And I'm going to start with the beautiful creatures deck. So Sag, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's see what's going on for your birthday. So guys, these are very, very, very general. I just ask for messages, like straight up messages for Sag. It can apply to you personally or someone that you're connecting to, uh, someone who lives in your home, someone who's in your environment, or someone that you just think about that maybe you haven't seen in a few years. You know what I'm saying? Um, could also be pertaining to someone who thinks about you, okay? Could be around work, love, family, finances, health. Uh, so yeah, let's dive in, Sag. Let's dive in. Any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius? Any messages for Sagittarius? Hmm. I feel like some of you guys are really stressed out. I mean, I know it's holiday season, <laughs> but I'm, I'm just feeling stress, feeling stress kind of like I want that to end I need to not deal with that anymore I don't want to deal with that anymore it's a little high strung Sag it's a little high strung I don't know if I'm loving that let's see any messages for Sagittarius any messages for Sagittarius any messages for Sagittarius some of you guys are, are looking into religion some of you guys are looking into religion they just showed me um Oh, I forget the name of the 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 ceremony, but um, it's it's the palms. The I don't. I'm not a big religious person. Sorry, so I'm not, not super knowledgeable about like specific religious things. But I know I've seen this this before. Um, it's like every, like you carry like the palm, like the big palm. I know it. God, it sounds so ignorant right now. Um, they do in, they do it in Jerusalem, don't they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they do it in Jerusalem. Um. God, I don't know the name of that ceremony. But some of you guys are looking into religion or maybe you're considering going to, um, to Jerusalem. Oh, okay. Ooh, the hanging one. The hanging one. So you have the hanged man here, Piscean energy. Yeah, some of you guys are really looking into your spirituality. I like that, Sag. I like that. I mean, you're Sag. You're always, you're, you guys are really focused on philosophy and spirituality and even knowledge. So you guys are just really intrigued by the esoteric. Some of you, this is a brand new thing. Others, you're just kind of um, beefing up your your knowledge base of what you already know. You're enjoying it. You're having fun with it. I like that. I just heard pause. I feel like you're putting people on pause or one person in particular, Sag. Keep in mind, someone could be doing this to you. Any other messages for Sagittarius? Any other messages? For Ooh. Big card, big card vomit. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I will take this one. Ooh, you are one. Authenticity. Ooh, Sag, I like this. You're looking for truth. You're putting a lot of things on pause or a lot of people on pause until you get the truth of something or the truth of an, uh, an understanding um, of a way of being or even just like I said, a religion. You're really prioritizing this. This is really important to you. It could be stressing you out. You might be feeling like whatever this thing is I need to understand fully, I need to understand it now. Uh, yeah, I need to understand it now. So you guys are following your true passions. And really prioritizing that, understanding the importance of that and how much happiness that can bring to you. And when you have happiness, abundance tends to follow, right? Any other messages from my Saggies pertaining to the spread? Let's see here. Oh, oh, we got the devil. <laughs> oh, no wonder you want to make this important, Sag. You're dealing with a interesting individual or in individuals here okay this could also just be an old way of thinking this is the devil card in this deck called the habit dependency capricorn energy i mean that's a stark difference right i almost feel like these are the same people <laughs> that's a stark difference here you could be battling your own inner demons or someone else's demons or someone you consider to be a demon right um that's why you're prioritizing it. That's why you're prioritizing it. Like, let me find my truth. Let me find the truth of the situation or let me find the more authentic part of me or something that is truly part of my heart's desire, my soul's calling, my purpose and get away from the old way of doing things or someone. So keep in mind, this could just be a self-growth thing, Sag. 
For some of you, this is about getting away from people who uh, take, you, take you further off your path or further away from your authenticity. Ooh, saggy. I like it. And you're putting other people on pause until you get this sorted out. Any other messages for Saggies regarding this spread? Get that in a second. Oh, oh, this is getting good, Sag. Any other messages for my Saggies regarding this spread? Okay. Wow. This is a little intense, guys. Now we have the Emperor. You literally have all major arcana on the board. This is significant, Sag. This is a very significant thing that you're doing and prioritizing. The emperor came out right behind habit, okay? Emperor is a very masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a man, it can also be a woman. It's an energy of authority. It's an energy of also control, of power, of rank, of standing. I'm actually getting standing here. Uh, ooh. It's a very aggressive energy I'm actually getting off this emperor, but it feels very genuine. So it's interesting it's coming right next to the devil. Uh, this can also be uh, Mars energy, so Aries Scorpio, also Taurus for me as a reader, divine masculine energy. I don't like this energy here, Sag. I don't. I don't think you like it either. There's either an old way, um, not old way, excuse me, old dynamic that you have with someone with an emperor energy. Keep in mind, emperor can also be like a father, grandfather figure, a patriarch, or a boss, or a CEO, entrepreneur, like someone who's been through a lot of shit and has a lot of a lot of wisdom, especially upright. Like I'm not hating on this person. I'm actually kind of really liking this person. I just don't like what this shit is. I don't like this, okay? Like I said, it could be an old dynamic between the two of you that's become very toxic. Um, this emperor, I feel like, has really good intentions, but there could be something that is pushing this emperor to be a little bit controlling and possessive. That's going to be for some of you. Others, it's getting away from your old, um, your, old your own inner demons. <laughs> your own inner demons or uh, adhering. I'm hearing adhering. Adhering to other ways of being that are not your true self, not part of your true identity. So you're trying to find that. You're trying to find that and getting away from this, whether it's a person like the emperor, or some, something or someone influencing the emperor to be more harsh with you, um, or just something that's between the two of you. And like I said, it could be self-growth. It could be within yourself here. You're really trying to battle that. You're really trying to battle that and control the situation. Others, you're doing this um, to actually improve your career standing, to improve your career standing. I like it. Overall energy, we do have King of Wands. <laughs> This is the only minor arcana, and it's a heavy-ass court card. Leo energy could also be fire, air. This could very well be you. Very masculine energy on the board, Satch. Very, very masculine energy. King of Wands is very similar to the Emperor for me in a lot of ways. Um, they're both go-getters. They're both entrepreneurs. Uh, they both are leaders. They both are very creative as well. The Emperor can be very creative. They just have minions to do their shit for them. <laughs> they don't usually get up off their throne to do a whole lot of shit. The King of Wands... We'll get up every once in a while to, to handle some shit here. But you got a lot of fire, Sag, a lot of creative energy on the board, and a lot of taking control of your life, taking control of your own inner demons, or um, a, very, a dynamic that's become toxic between you and another person. I really feel like this is your energy, which is very beautiful, being in your true authentic self here. So let's go ahead and break these energies down a little bit. Actually, let's go right into the devil. Let's go right into the devil. This is like, this is like the pest. This is like the problem. This is like the pimple that needs to be popped. And again, it could just be within your own energy so that you can level up in your business, your career, your home, or your, just your life here and standing more in your, your authentic self. Or it could be an energy between you and an emperor that needs to go. Okay, that needs to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Steven. <laughs> I've, I've gotten a couple new decks. And I'm like, do I use them? I'm like, no. I've, I've had such weird energy about picking my decks lately. Uh, let's go ahead and use the spellcasters. Time with the habit. Play with the habit for Sagittarius. Play with the habit. Keep in mind, guys, because these are so general, this could be something you've, you've gone through already, something you're going through right now or will be going through. So keep that in mind. Maybe you'll really have to revisit this in a couple months. Play with the habit for Sagittarius. Play with the habit for Sagittarius. Yeah, this devil energy stresses you out. I can feel it. It stresses you out. Even if it's your own shit, you're 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 coming, you're becoming aware of how if it if it is your own shit, how that's really um kept you from being truly who you are. Time up the habit. 
Some of you could feel like you're too dependent on an emperor and that you need more independence. Tell me about the habit for Sagittarius. Get all kinds of different messages for you guys. Tell me about the habit for Sagittarius. Let's see here. Ooh, Seven of Cups in Reverse, Scorpionic Energy, and then we have a Queen of Cups, Cancerian, Kelsey Pisces, or Scorpio. This is interesting. I feel like this is actually your energy, Sag, like in independence. Like, I don't, I, I just, I was so drawn to her hand over that cup, like not really giving, not wanting to give, not wanting to give, um, not wanting to give any options. Oh, shit, Sag. Not wanting to give any options. Okay, this, this is definitely feeling like between you and an emperor here. Some of you have, um, are overcoming your codependency issues. Yeah, some of you this is about overcoming your, your codependency issues. I feel like that's really been like mostly dealt with. So I'm kind of surprised to even see it here, to be honest with you. But I feel a very stern energy of I can't, like, no, putting the pause on, putting the pause on so that you can explore this energy within yourself to be more authentic in your in your true self. Yeah. Yeah, you're looking for more independence. You are saggy, of course. Oh, oh, ow, yeah, shit, Ten of Swords, Gemini Energy. Are you just totally ending shit? I mean, Sag, I knew you were going to go on pause, but this is like, ow, ow. Yeah, you're killing the devil. <laughs> shit, Sag, you're killing the devil so you can have more independence and you can live in your true authentic energy. Whether the devil is just an energy that you that has been bothering you in your life or within your own energy... Or it's something that someone has brought into your life, like an emperor has brought into your life, or something that's come between you and an emperor, okay? You're killing the devil. Tell me more about the habit. Tell me more about the habit for Sagittarius. Yeah, you're putting your foot down. Tell me about the habit. I mean, you're, you're doing it as a queen of cups, so it's like, you know, it's not like you're throwing a, t you know, not like you're being bitchy about it. Overall energy, yeah, shit, two of pentacles in reverse. Uh, Capricorn energy, and then we have, whoa, the Empress. Uh, this is Venusian, so Libra and Taurus, also divine feminine energy, and then the chariot. Sag, oh my God, you're just saying, nope, no more. <laughs> the devil is done, the devil is dead. Like, <laughs> you are so putting your foot down, Sag, I love it. And as the Empress, no less, and like I said, I feel like you are dealing with an emperor here, uh, very much a, a true pair situation. Whatever this devil energy is, it's different for all of you. It's something between you and the emperor, or it's something the emperor brings in, or it's something within yourself that you're killing off to allow yourself to really ascend into your true authentic energy. Some of this will also require a move, a physical move, even a little vacation. Some of you guys are going to go on vacation after this. <laughs> true Sag fashion. Let me kill this shit and get out. Like, <laughs> true Sag fashion. Wow, Sag is very powerful. This is very powerful. I kind of want to get more details on this. Let's look at the Ten of Swords. I'm going to use uh, the Lenormand deck here. Tell me about this Ten of Swords energy. Tell me about this Ten of Swords energy. Yeah, you're not messing around. Tell me about the Ten of Swords energy. A lot of you are, are splitting away from this Emperor. A lot of you are splitting away from this Emperor. Time for the Ten of Swords. You can be doing that energetically. Oh, what did I just say? Oh my God. The ring and the man. This is clarifying the Ten of Swords, guys. What's ended? A commitment to a, a male energy. The Emperor, for sure. For sure. Holy shit. Now, like I said, it's devil energy that you're killing. Okay, so it's... It's some kind of possessive controlling energy that the emperor has exuded onto you and you're tired of it and you want to be free, you want to be independent. Or it's some kind of codependent energy that you've had on the emperor and you want your independence. That's definitely how I'm feeling it. Even if like you're not like, I feel like you're with this person. Like how could you not be? I mean, this is like literally a commitment, right? Whoa, 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 Sag. Some of you are actually killing, some of you are killing the fantasy 
the fantasy seven of cups can indicate fantasy or daydreams in reverse it's it's the the lack of that like you've woken up out of the dream some of you are actually killing the fantasy of a commitment with somebody wow yeah some of you are not even with this person some of you are just letting the idea of being with someone go holy shit <laughs> sorry i'm just like wow i can't believe those two cards came out together tell me more about this ten of swords energy for sag Play more with this Ten of Swords energy for Sag. And like I said, you could be with this person and just deciding not to be with them anymore. Let's see. Now we have, ooh, oh, upside down. We have the tree and the clouds. Clouds is confusion or something that's kind of murky. The tree can be ancestry. It could also be something that's, that's slow growing. It can also indicate ascension here with the Seven of Cups attached to it. Yeah, you have full clarity. I think there was too much confusion going on. It's like the more you thought about it, if for those who were not with this person, you were just kind of like, it was an idea in your head. The more you thought about it, the more confusing it got. And you're just like, I have to let this go. Like, I have to let this idea in my head go. Like, this is, this is, if it's this confusing, it shouldn't be this confusing if I'm supposed to be with this person, right? Uh, for those of you who are actually committed, I think this double energy was just making things uh, very painful and kind of stagnant. Like I said, the tree can be slow growth, but if you add confusion on top of slow growth, that, that becomes stagnancy, right? Some of you just became too stagnant and you weren't going to deal with it anymore. Over energy for the Ten of Swords, we have loyalty, Ten of Cups energy. It could just indicate that you had a family with this person or you shared a household with this person or you were just very loyal. Very loyal to the idea of being with this person or very loyal to this person in general. Whether you were codependent on them or you were dependent on them for like finances or something else or even just, you know, your own security um, or they were possessive or controlling over you. Either way, you had loyalty here for this person. That's done. That's freaking done. Wow. <laughs> it's just so powerful, Sag. It's just so powerful. Hold on. Let me get a little sip of tea. Mm. Okay. Let's go into you. I don't even really care about this Emperor, Sag. I mean, clearly you don't. No, I mean, I think you did. You're the Queen of Cups. You had emotion here. You had love for this person, but you killed that shit. You killed the fantasy. You killed the love. For some, like I said, it was codependency. And you're you're elevating yourself into your true, authentic self and independence as well. I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. Let's look at you are one. Let's look at you are one. Um, hmm. I'll do honest truth deck. It's so funny when he eats. I don't know if you guys can ever hear him on camera when he eats. He just eats so loud, like. <laughs> All right, tell me you are. Tell me about you are one. Tell me you are one. <laughs> tell me about you are one. For Sag. Tell me about you are one for Sagittarius. Tell me about you are one for Sagittarius. Tell me about you are one for Sagittarius. Tell me about you are one. Some of you did this to go on your own spiritual journey. Wow, yeah, four of swords. Like I said, you're going to go on a little vacay, Sag. <laughs> you have the cherry and the four of swords. Some of you guys are definitely going on a little vacation after this uh, occurs. This is Libra energy. Four of swords is taking a time out to recover, to rest to meditate, to get understanding, because you really are trying to find, figure out either the next step in your spiritual journey, going on a spiritual journey for the first time. We still got a lot of people waking up right now, um, or just finding your true self and what makes you truly happy. You might need to spend a lot of time in meditation, Sag. I think even to come to this consensus to kill this dream of being with someone or to no longer be with someone. Some of you guys need to might need to meditate and go within quite quite a bit at this time to wake up to the devil energy and what you have to do. Talk about you are one. Talk about you are one. For Sagittarius. Talk about you are one. For Sagittarius. This is beautiful energy, Sag. I gotta be honest, like this feels very swift, but I think getting to this point might be really hard. I can feel that. It's like, I feel a heavy heart all of a sudden as I'm like in your, as I'm in your meditation energy, the meditation energy you're going to be in, it feels like a heavy heart. You might cry. You might feel a little bit of pain. Um, you might even feel, oh my God, oh, Sag. 
<laughs> you might even feel um quite lonely actually for for i'm actually here in a couple months for a couple months it's really going to pay off though oh my i want to cry all of a sudden <laughs> talking about you are one for sagittarius some of you do have a family with this person they are telling me some of you have children with this person talking about you are one Time but you are one for Sagittarius. Let's see here. Ooh. Ooh. Strength in reverse, Leo energy, and the King of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy. Could also be Gemini or Libra. Uh, in this meditative state and in you finding yourself or more of just, you know, get a little deeper exploration. Like I said, it's a spectrum. Some of these people are doing this for the first time. Some of you, this is just the next level in your spiritual journey, okay? And in your ascension process. But with this Four of Swords energy, something you're coming to realize about the person you're actually leaving behind, I gotta be honest, they seem a little bit like a liar, okay? They seem a little bit like a liar. Maybe someone who actually wasn't very honest. Held you back. I just heard held you back. They held you back. They held you back, Sag. Or they're holding you back if you haven't left this person or let go of the idea of being with this person. Uh, for some of you who where there's been a, a lot of interchange, whether you're with them or not, because if the fantasy's there, I feel like the fantasy is being enabled. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with having like a daydream or fantasy about someone, but I feel like it was being enabled and there is devil energy here, right? King of Swords in reverse can be a narcissistic energy or manipulative energy or just a flat out liar. Okay, and with strength and with strength in reverse, I'm actually hearing no character. I'm actually hearing no character or lack of character. Talking about you were one. Talking about you were one for Sagittarius. Talking about you were one for Sagittarius. Now we have the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Yeah, this person is not the greatest communicator. I feel like they talk really fast and talk a lot and throw a lot of information at you, but at the end of the day, they come from a king of swords and reverse energy. Yeah, it doesn't feel very good. Overall, we have a king of wands in reverse with six of swords in reverse. So this has been really difficult to deal with this person. King of wands in reverse and a king of swords in reverse energy, that is not very soft. <laughs> <laughs> like sugarcoating it uh it's not soft energy it, it's a little it can be manipulative it can it can be controlling it could be narcissistic it could even be like short fused it could be short fused very selfish very selfish and six of swords in reverse i really feel like they were holding you back sag with that six of swords in reverse they were really holding you back a lot and you're realizing this you're realizing this and it's like, okay, Sag, I'll be, I'll be straight up with you. This meditative um, energy that you're going to be in for a while, for some, like I said, a couple months is what I was picking up on intuitively, different for everybody. Um, it's going to be a little, it's going to be painful, not just because you had to make a hard decision to no longer be loyal to someone that, or an idea that you were very loyal to. Okay. Something that really had your heart because you're coming across as a queen of cups in that energy. And as you meditate on this, it's like you're realizing not only you made the right decision, which was hard to do, and you're, you know, you're removing yourself from someone you care about or the idea of something that you really care about, but you're also realizing that it was also holding you back. And some of you are going to be a little mad at yourselves for that. Don't be mad at yourself. Don't beat yourself up. It's a lesson learned. Okay. It's a lesson learned. It's a lesson learned. Wow. Okay, Sag. So you're going to go off and be the empress and be elevated and ascended and shit. Congratulations. That's a positive takeaway. Let's go ahead and do another spread. Let's shake that one off. That one was a little, that was intense. That was a little intense. Put you back over here. I'm trying to stay as organized as possible now <laughs> with all these cards. Can put you there. Okay. All right, Saggies, let's do the next spread. I actually, I haven't used the Steampunk in a while. Let's do that. Mm. Mm. Okay. Saggies, can I get messages for different types of Saggies, please? Or different messages for my Saggies that they need to be aware of? Any different messages for my Saggies or for a different group of Sagittarians, please? Where are we at? Oh, 24 minutes. Oh, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Any other messages for my Saggies for a different group of Saggies or a different message that needs to be heard? 
I heard have fun, Satch. <laughs> Is that, isn't that your motto? Have fun? <laughs> Any other messages for my Saggies? Different messages or for a different group of my Saggies, please? Okay. Any other messages for my Saggies or for a different group of Saggies, please? Ooh, we got work on the board. Eight of Pentacles. So this is like, this could be a career rating at career reading i actually am getting work i am getting work career pentacles job money nest egg just heard nest egg really working hard some of you have saved up a lot of money that's interesting that's coming through some of you have saved up a lot of money i mean eight of pentacles that would have to be a lot that would have to be a lot here you've been really focused on a goal you've been really focused on a goal you or someone you're connecting with you're a little tired though i can feel it you're running out of steam sag hang in there i feel like you're almost there Whatever this goal is, if you're trying to save a certain amount of money or save enough money to, to do something big or like buy a house or something like that, or maybe you've been working on building a business or a job, whatever it is you've been working on, you are close. You are close. Any other messages from my Saggies regarding this spread? And like I said, it could be someone that is connecting with you energetically. Any other messages from my Saggies regarding this spread? Any other messages? Oh, don't lose hope. <laughs> Strength and reverse Leo energy. Don't lose hope. Like I said, you're close. That's so funny. Maybe that's why I had to tell you. Do not lose your steam. Do not lose your faith. You are so close. I know you're running out of that willpower. Like I've been doing this for so long. I've been saving for so long. I've been working so hard. Don't, don't, don't lose it yet. Don't lose it yet. Don't lose it yet. Any other messages from my Saggies regarding this spread? Any other messages from my Saggies regarding this spread? Any other messages from my Saggies? Oh, there's that four sword. You're wanting a break. <laughs> you're wanting a break. Whatever it is you're working on, Sag, you're, you're just like, I know, like, I know I'm close. I, ju I just, you're almost telling yourself you can't do it, which is not very saggy. I think that just means you've been really working hard. You might even be a little overworked and really just needing a little bit of a timeout. It's okay to take a break. Holidays are here, you know? Any other messages from my saggies regarding this spread? Yeah, I guess all my saggies need a little vacay. What is this about time, Sag? Ace of Swords in reverse. You're working so hard that it's almost like you've lost sight of why you're working so hard. This is interesting. I think that's why you're needing a break. And I just was getting an energy of time. I got drawn to the hourglass in that illustration. Um, you're working so hard. You feel that crunch and I like the time crunch, that pressure. And I think that's actually making you more stressed out and losing your steam, losing your willpower a little bit here. Um, and you're, you're wanting to sit down. It's like, you're just like, I, I, I don't know if I can. I, like, I, I don't know if I can. And some of you are like, wait a minute. I've been working so hard. I've been working so hard. Why am I doing this again? Some of you feel like you've lost your purpose. Some of you feel like you've lost your purpose. Overall energy. Ooh. Eight of cups in reverse. Piscean energy. You've invested a lot into something. You have two eights on the board, by the way. You've invested a lot into something, Sag. Whether it's a career, a project, a goal, whatever it is, you've invested a lot. A lot of your emotions as well. And you're having a hard time because all of a sudden you're realizing that either you don't want to do it anymore, like you want to sit down. Like, I want to sit down. I don't actually want this anymore. I don't want to work this hard anymore anymore. But you've invested so much it's like how could i even let it go or how could i even stop i'm so close but like is it even what i want anymore with ace of swords in reverse that's where like you're, you're getting a little confused with yourself Saj, you might need a time out to understand okay you might need a time out to understand why you feel this way you could just be burnt out okay when we get burnt out we get all kinds of confused we don't know won't know why we do the shit we do because we're fucking tired right if you're burnt out, take that time. Take that time to get that clarity because you don't have it right now. Whoever's resonating with this or who will be resonating with this, when you're in this energy, 
you're not going to understand why you work so hard on something. And even when you're close and you're like, okay, that's what I wanted. But is it actually what I want anymore? Something shifted for you or you're just too burnt out. So let's go ahead and take a look at what you've been working on with the Eight of Pentacles energy. Uh, let's do Crystal. Time for the Eight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Time for the Eight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Hey, Babs. Time for the Eight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Ooh, yeah, Page of Wands in reverse. Um, for some of you, you're experiencing gossip in the workplace and it's making you not like your job anymore. <laughs> That's for some of you. And you're just like, well, what do I do now? Like, I'm, I'm actually not liking this work environment. That's for some of you. Um, others, Page of Wands in reverse can be bad news or lack of inspiration. Like I said, Saj, it's like you're running out of steam. You've put in a lot of effort, a lot of like blood, sweat and tears into something and you almost have what you were going for. And it's like, or you just are doing it endlessly. And now you're like, wait a minute. I don't really, this isn't bringing me happiness. Like, I'm not enjoying this. I don't feel inspired. I don't feel that fire inside. You need that fire, right? You're just not feeling that anymore. Time about the Eight of Pentacles. Time about the Eight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Ooh, Two of Swords in reverse, Libra energy. I feel like you're already making a decision that you don't, Sag, yeah, it seems like you're making a quick decision before you have the full clarity on what to do. That's interesting. I'm, I'm actually getting like a quick decision because you don't have any passion for this anymore. But at the same time, you don't want to let it go. So I'm kind of surprised. I mean, Sag, we know you're very impulsive, but even for you, this doesn't seem very saggy. Talk about the Eight of Pentacles. Play with the Eight of Pentacles. Oh. Oh, Sag. Yeah, okay, this could be someone you're connecting with. We got the Emperor out here. Wow, a lot of cards coming out. Time with the Eight of Pentacles. Oh! Did not expect that. So four more cards came out. The Tower in Reverse, which is Mars energy with the Emperor in Reverse. So a lot of Mars going on here. A lot of Mars. Mars is in Scorpio right now. Uh, it's going to be in Sag um, in the first week of January. Tropic. Okay. Um, judgment, which is fire. Also Scorpio because <laughs> it's Pluto. And then we have the Nine of Wands. More fire. More Sag energy here. I like that judgment's here. It's almost, it's very comforting, actually. It's very comforting that that judgment is here. It almost feels like a nice little pillow to the situation. Yeah, Sad, you're tired. You put in so much effort here. But with this tower in reverse and the emperor, I don't like this energy. This feels, like I said, Sad, it could be someone you're connecting with here. But with the emperor in reverse and the tower in reverse, I mean, someone is just like, I feel like collapsing. I feel like this emperor energy is collapsing in this. But it seems like it needs to happen. With judgment here, it, it needs to happen. It needs to. Like, ju when judgment comes out for me as a reader, that's a sign that it's like, hey, divine paths are, like, involved in this. Like, blueprints are possibly involved in this. Like, judgment's a huge tell for me as a reader that that's involved. This needed to happen. Overall energy, we have seven of swords. Whoa. Four of cups in reverse. Oh, shit. Two of cups in reverse. And then an Ace of Cups, Chariot, holy shit, and the Star. No wonder this had to happen. Star, Star with Judgment and the Tower, this shit needed to happen. Destiny is involved here. Seven of Swords with the Two of Cups in reverse and the five, uh, Four of Cups in reverse. This is rejection. This is rejection or sabotaging a connection here. But then we have the Ace of Cups with the Chariot and the Star. Someone's heading to something fucking beautiful. Sorry, I'm like, I cuss a lot. Someone commented on that. Yeah, I cuss a lot. Whatever. Um... So a swift decision is being made here because someone has no more steam, no more inspiration, no more happiness in something they've been putting effort into. And it does seem like it's a connection, a soulmate connection that's involved in that. It could be a work relationship and heading towards a career that is, you know, more destined for them or destined for you or brings a lot more happiness and joy. But that's what these energies are for the overall energy for the Eight of Pentacles. Someone's making a quick choice to be like, you know what? I don't like this shit. 
I really wanted to hang in there because I was close to my goal or close to establishing some kind of milestone in my relationship. But no, no, this is this is not what I want. This isn't what I want anymore. I want this. I want this. Wow. And something with the Emperor comes collapsing down. The two readings, uh, the reading I did before and the reading I'm, I'm doing now could very well be connected here. And a judgment call is being made. A judgment call is being made and there's perseverance and resilience attached to that judgment call. Wow. Let's look at judgment because judgment's screaming out at me here. Hold on. Sag, if you're putting a lot of effort into something, you might not want anymore because you might have found out someone was being very deceptive that you were working with or in a relationship with, and then that tower comes crumbling down on them. And it was the right, it was the right decision. It was the right decision. But let's look at judgment. Let's look at judgment. Uh let's see. I'm gonna use gilded for this one. Tell me about judgment. Tell me about judgment. Talking about judgment for Sagittarius. Yeah, this is the pursuit of happiness, honestly. This is the pursuit of happiness and doing what you have to do to, to end something, even though you put a lot of effort into it. But Eight of Cups in Reverse, I can tell it's like, yeah, it feels very similar to the other reading. Um, it's such an emotional tie there. Talking about judgment. Some of you guys might be smokers. <laughs> Why am I seeing that in this card? I totally see that this card. So you guys might be smokers or maybe you quit smoking smoking and after this decision you're like, I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Talking about judgment. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm getting that. Sagis. Yeah, some of you guys who who quit smoking, uh, if you if this is totally resonating with you and you're gonna make this decision, either be either to sabotage your connection because it just doesn't make you happy anymore or someone you find out someone's being deceptive and that just like gets you on your chariot with your ace of cups like heading towards your star energy whatever the case is if you're making this quick decision and you used to be a smoker you might be lighting up because of the stress of it all tell me about judgment high priestess piscean energy could also be gemini for me as a reader yeah you just know You just know you have to do it. You just know. Talk about judgment. Yep, Eight of Pentacles. You just know that your efforts and whatever it is you've invested in, it's got to change. It's not bringing you that happiness. Talk about judgment. King of Swords. You know. Like I said, you know. Whether you're a man or woman, you know. Tell me more about judgment. Yep. Wow. Knight of Cups, Piscean energy. Now, Sag, it is judgment. Judgment can also be reconciliation. Eight of Cups in reverse can also be a, a U-turn or going back to something from the past. And with this energy... Hold on. With the eight of, eight of Pentacles, Sag, this is also picking up as some for a different group of you. This is also picking up as someone who is um, getting out of a connection here, working on getting out of a connection, uh, either because it it was just not working on their favor, or they didn't make them happy, or there was some kind of deceptive shit, and taking their Ace of Cups and going to where they want to be, which could be in the past, especially with the King of Swords with the Knight of Cups. So Sag, someone could be returning to you to reconcile, and you could be very guarded against them. And they could be leaving someone else and the towers coming down within that relationship or connection. Over energy for judgment, we do have the king of wands. Leo energy could also be air or fire with the ten of wands in reverse. Someone's dropping a burden. So Sag, if you're doing this leaving or, you know, whatever you've invested in and you're like, I'm out because this is not working on the way I wanted it to. It's not what I really want. It's not bringing me happiness. You're putting that weight down and going towards the next thing. Going towards the thing that makes you happy. Going towards the thing that makes you light up. Going towards your destiny here. And for some of you, that's a U-turn to the past to a different connection or someone's turning back to you after getting out of a connection that really was not in their highest good. And it needed to happen with all these cards out here. Oh, okay. So we have three other cards. <laughs> 
Strength in reverse, the Four of Swords, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. So gaining that clarity after all of this, right? I Sag, if this person's approaching you, I think you just need that time out to figure it out. Okay. Um, if you're leaving, I feel like you're going, you're going to go rest. Yeah. I feel like if you're the one who's leaving, you're just going to go and rest and recover and try to realign yourself and have um, a clear head to move forward and what your next steps really truly need to be in this, hold on, in this energy, what your true set, what your next steps need to be. Okay. But like I said, if someone's heading back your way, you're going to need a timeout to figure it out. Yeah, you're going to need time out to figure it out. I'll look at this Ace of Swords in reverse. I don't think we're going to get much more information, but I'll take a look. I'll use Lenormand for this one. Ah, sorry, I just got easily. Oh. Okay. Now with Ace of Swords in reverse. Mmm. Matters of the heart. Which can, with the Knight of Cups, which can be love, um, it could also just be your heart's desire, what you want for yourself and where your happiness lies, right? So again, if you're making that choice where you're going and what that looks like, what you want for yourself, getting clear-headed on that. And others, if someone's returning to you after leaving somebody, you're trying to figure out how you really feel about it. Mm, anchor, yeah, Nine of Swords energy attached to this. I'm actually hearing permanence. I'm hearing permanence. Oh, interesting. Sag, wherever you're going next, if you're making this decision or if this person's returning to you and presenting you with this option, um, you want clarity on it because you're thinking of like your, your permanence, like literally like where you want to dock, where you want to dock in happiness and what that looks like. You're thinking very long term here. So I'm at Ace of Swords in reverse. For those of this person's returning to you, you're wondering if they're going to become a burden. You're wondering if they're going to become a burden. And I also feel like it's making you very stressed out, which is why you definitely need a little bit of a break to think about it if you're getting approached by this person instead of leaving somebody. So I'm at Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, confusion. So I'm at Ace of Swords in reverse. Wow, the maze with the garden. This is don't let other people influence you, Sag. Don't let other people influence your decision here. Um, you need time alone. Get away from people. I, this is all this energy screaming at me. Get away from people. Uh, the garden can be a communal energy or a public energy or a public knowledge. Even the maze is literally being confused and being lost in your journey, trying to find your way. Don't let other people confuse you. Don't let expectations of other people confuse you either or be a, a role in this. Do not. Over energy, the only thing that makes me worried. Yeah, the snake and the fish. Some of you are leaving the situation because there's been treachery in the workplace and this is a work scenario for you. If it's a work scenario for you, there's been treachery in the workplace and you're bouncing and you're trying to figure out how to move forward in your career next and what those next steps look like so that you can be really happy. And you're thinking long term in that arena, okay? And you almost don't want to deal with people. So you're kind of struggling with like, how do I even trust people in the workplace anymore? Or how do I even trust business dealings if you work for yourself anymore? Others, you're worried that people just want to see back for your money. If this person's coming back to you, like if you're not making this choice, if they're getting out of something and heading towards you, you're, you're looking at them like, <laughs> you just want my resources. Fish is resources. That's why it's associated with currency and career as well. But you're just like, mm, I think you just want my money. <laughs> I, think you just, I think you just want my resources. Take your time. Take your time, Sag, and don't let other people influence you. Do not let other people influence you, okay? Some of you, where if you're leaving a situation, whoever is like leaving a person and heading towards another person, like I said, that is a scenario here, um, it was discovered that someone really wanted someone for their money and that's why they left. And Sag, like I said, this could be you or it could be someone that you're connecting to and they're coming back to you after leaving that person. I know a lot of information. It's okay to go back and watch this a couple times. <laughs> and I talk really fast because I get a lot of downloads. If I talk too fast for you, just rewind. Okay? Okay. Oh, Sag. Okay, so where are we on time? Oh, we're at 44 minutes. E I think I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. I think I'm going to wrap it up there. I got a lot of work I got to catch up on, including 
your reading for the rest of 2019, okay? Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you guys had a really, really great birthday season. This was some really intense information, very detailed information for some of you, but I hope it brought you insight, and I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to check out Patreon, Vimeo, and Instagram as well, and I will see you guys later, okay? Namaste.